Welcome to this service. At entrance, you should tell, Heavenly Father God, let your mercy be upon us. Give the deaths peace and rest. Give the churches unity and give the world peace. Amen, amen, amen. Let us pray the prayer of preparation. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secret are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our heart by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer of Penitence God so loved the world that he gave his only son Jesus Christ to save us from our sins, to be our advocate in heaven, and to bring us to eternal life. Let us confess our sins in penitence and faith, firmly resolved to keep God's commandments and to live in love and peace with all. Confession Father eternal, giver of light and grace, we have seen in what we have taught, in what we have said and done, through ignorance, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We have wounded your love and married your images in us. We are sorry and ashamed and re repent of all our sins for the sake of your son jesus christ who died for us forgive us all that is past and lead us uh, out from darkness to walk in children of light amen gloria gloria in excelsis deu gloria gloria in excelsis deu glory to god in the highest and peace to his people on earth Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deu. Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deu. Jesus, Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Gloria, Gloria. In excelsis Deu, Gloria, Gloria, in excelsis Deu, Amen. The Bible, Matthew 21, part 1 to 11, Jesus goes into Jerusalem. Jesus and his 12 disciples were coming near to Jerusalem. They came to the village uh, called uh, Bethphage. They were on the hill called the Mountain of Olives. Jesus sent two of his disciples to go on. He said to him, Go into the village that is in front of you. When you arrive there, you will in, uh, immediately see a donkey uh, tied there with her young donkey undo the ropes and bring both the donkeys here to me someone may ask you where are you going then say to him the master needs them he will send them back to you soon a prophet had spoken a message from god both about this long ago. Now it became true. Say to the people in Jerusalem, Look, your king is coming to you. He does not come like someone who, who thinks that he is important. He is riding on a donkey. Yes, he is rank, uh, riding on a donkey. So the two disciples went to the village. 
they did everything that uh, Jesus had, has, uh, had told them to do. They uh, brought the donkey and the young donkey to Jesus. They put their uh, coats on the back of the donkeys. Then Jesus got up and sat on one, on one of them. Many people in the crowd put their coats down on the road. Other people cut branches down from trees. They put these branches down to the, on the road. Many crowds of people went in front of Jesus and other people followed him. All of them were shouting, We praise you, son of the David. Uh, God will be uh, good to you. Great is the king who comes with the authority of the Lord God. We praise God in heaven above. When Jesus went into Jerusalem, everybody in the city had trouble in their minds. They were asking each other, who is this man? The people in the crowd replied, this is God's prophet Jesus. He comes from Nazareth in Galilee. This is the word of Jesus. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Epistle, Roman 11, part 25 to 36. God will save Israel's people. My Christian friends, I want to help you to understand about Israel's people. It is a secret that God has shown to us. If you really understand it, you will not be proud that you are so clever. Many of Israel's people have refused to believe in Christ. They will continue to refuse him until the complete number of Gentiles have believed. When that has happened, God will save all Israel's people. This is written in the Bible. The one who rescues will come from Zion. He will turn Jacob's people away from their sins. And I will make this agreement with them. I will forgive them for their sins. Israel's people have become God's enemies because they have refused to believe the uh, good news about Christ. This has happened to help you Gentiles, but God still loves Israel's people because he has chosen them as his own people. That is what he promised to their ancestors. God's th uh, thoughts about his people cannot change. He has blessed them with gifts and he has chosen them to belong to him. In past times, you Gentiles did not obey God, but now God has been very kind to you because Israel's people refused to obey him. They do not obey God now. As a result, God has been very kind to you. That has happened so that God may now be very kind to them too. God says that everyone is guilty because they do not obey him. He says that so that he says so that he can be kind and he can forgive everyone. Yes, God is very great. He has everything. He knows and he understands all things. Nobody can completely understand the things that he decides. Nobody can explain the ways in which he works. The Bible says this. Nobody knows the thoughts of the Lord God. Nobody is able to tell him what he should do. Nobody has ever given anything to God so that God had a debt to pay back to them. It is God who made all things. He also causes all things to continue and all things are there to show how great he is. We praise him. He is great forever. Amen. This is true. This is the word of Jesus. Thanks be to God. 
Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. Gospel John 17, Part 1 to 26. Jesus prays to himself. After Jesus said this, he looked up to heaven. He said, Father, the time has now arrived. Show how great your son is. So then I, the son, can show how great you are. You gave to me authority over all people. You did this so that I could give people life forever. Those are the people that you gave to me. What does it mean for people to live always? It means that they will know they will know you, the one who is the only true God. They will also know me, Jesus Christ, the one that you have sent. I have shown here on the earth how great you are. In that way, I have finished the work that you gave to me to do. So, Father, now that I return to you, show how great I am. Before the world began, I was with you. I was great and powerful uh, with you. Show again that I am great like, like that. Jesus prays for his disciples. You gave some people to me out of the world. I have shown them how you are. They were yours and you gave them to me. They have obeyed your message. Everything that I have come from you. Now they know that you gave me everything. I gave to them the message that you gave to me. They accepted the mas that message. They know certainly that I came from you. They believe that you sent me. And I myself will be in them. I pray for them. I am not praying for the people who belong to this world. No, I am praying for those people that you have given to me. I am praying for them because they are yours. Everything that I have is yours and everything that you have is mine. Those, these people have chosen how great I am. I will not remain in the world any longer. I will return to you now, but they will still be here in the world. Holy Father, please keep them safe in your name. That is the powerful name that you gave to me. Then they can be united in the same way that you and I are united. While I was with them, I kept them safe in the power of your name. That is the name of the that you gave to me. I kept them safe so that none of them turned away from you, except one. That was the man who had to turn away from you and lose himself. It had to happen in the way a prophet always wrote in the Bible. Now, Father, I will come to you. I am saying these things while I am still in the, in the world. Then these people, my disciples, can be completely happy. I want them to be completely happy in the same way that I am happy. I have given your message to them. The world's people have hated them because they do not belong to the world. They do not belong to the world in the same way that I do not belong to the world. I am not asking that you will take them out of the world, but I ask you to keep them safe from the devil. They do not belong to the world in the same way that I do not belong to the world. Help them to belong completely to you as they follow the truth. Your message is truth. 
I have sent them into the world in the same way that you sent me into the world. On their behalf, I gave uh, himself, I give him myself to you so that I belong completely to you. Then they also can completely belong to you as they follow the truth. Jesus prays for everyone who will believe in him. I do not pray only for those people, my disciples. I pray also for those people who will believe in me because of my disciples' message. I pray that all of them will be, uh, become united. You, Father, are in me and I am in you. I pray that they also will be united in us. Then the world's people will believe that you sent me. I have given to them the great and special gift that you gave to me. Now they can be united in the same way that you are, you and I are united. I will be in them and you will be in me so that they can be completely united. As a result, the worst people will know that you sent me. They will also know that you love me, love my own people as you love me. Father, you have given these people to me. I want them to be with you, with me, where I am. Then they will see how great I am. You made me great because you love me. You love me even before the world began. Father, you always do what, what is right. The world's people do not know you, but I know you. These disciples know that you have sent me. I have shown them what you are like, and I will continue to show them what you are like. Then they will love other people in the same way that you love me and I myself will be in them. Glory be to you, O Lord. Hallelujah. 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 If you lend money to a wicked person, he will not give it back to you. But righteous people are kind to others and they give things freely. Yes, people that the Lord blesses will live safely in the land. But people that he has cursed will be removed. If the way that somebody lives pleases the Lord, the Lord will lead him into good things. Even if that person trips, he will not fall. The Lord will hold his hand. Hallelujah. I was wrong once and now I am old. But in all my life, I have never seen any good man that God has left alone. I have not seen his children hungry so that they ask people for food. Good people are always kind. They lend things to other people. Their children also bring good God's blessing turn away from evil things so what is right then you will live safely in the land forever the lord loves justice he will never leave those who serve him he will take care of them forever but he will remove the children of wicked people God's righteous people will take the land and they will live there forever. Righteous people speak wise words. What they say brings justice. They think about God's law all the time so that they do not make mistakes. Hallelujah. Even people wait for a chance to kill righteous people. But the Lord will not leave his righteous people so that their enemies have power over them. 
when evil people accuse them, the Lord will show that they are not guilty. Be patient and continue to trust the Lord. Do things His way, then He will help you so that you live safely in the land. You will see them that wicked people are removed. Hallelujah. I have seen cruel, wicked people become very powerful like trees that grow well in good soil. But soon after that, I see that they have disappeared. I looked for them, but I could not find them anywhere. Think about people who are honest and who do what is right. Those who help people to live in peace will live to enjoy their children. Hallelujah. But God will destroy people that turn against him. Evil people will not have descendants. The Lord will make righteous people safe. He will take care of them in times of trouble. The Lord helps them. He saves them from wicked people and he keeps them safe. He does that because they turn to him for help. Amen. Preaching Dear God, we surrender to you our situation. The virus COVID-19 is a pandemic, pandemic. But we know, Lord, that you are greater than any viruses that ever exist. You are powerful than this disease, Lord. We cancel this virus in the name of Jesus. Let the precious blood of Jesus wash away every sickness in our body. We declare healing, Lord, for those who are suffering right now. Renew their strength, Lord. We pray that they uh, will not lose hope and they will always have the courage to fight for this, this disease. We know, God, that you have your plans for us. Rescue your people, Lord. Amen. Send forth your uh, angels and let them temple the forces of the enemy. We pray for the health workers, Lord. Strengthen them and boost their immune system. Amen. Give them courage, Lord, to continue serving your people. Bless their family and protect them always, Lord. We also pray for the uh, scientists who are certainly studying and developing cure for COVID-19. Amen. Give them the knowledge and wisdom that they need. Father, above all else, I pray that we will still see your goodness, that we will still thank you for every blessing you receive. We will continue to worship you, Lord, because you know that you are always great. Thank you, Lord, for sustaining us all this time. Thank you for being with us. We lift you up, Father, in the midst of this outbreak. Have your way, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Decreed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made a man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Plate. This, uh, he, he suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. 
We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. A creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the high right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, we look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Prayers of Intercessions We pray for the whole world to solve their conflicts and live in peace and grace. Thanks, Lord, hearing and answering our prayers. We pray for all poor countries. Give them rain and let them use it usefully to make food. Thanks, Lord, hearing and answering our prayers. We pray for sick people. Please heal them and let them know your miracles and let them adore you. Thanks, Lord, hearing and answering our prayers. Amen. The peace. We are the body of Christ. In the one spirit, we were all baptized into one body. Let us then pursue all that makes us for peace and builds up our common life the peace of the Lord be always be with you Amen Preparation of taking the bread and wine you must have a piece of bread and a glass of non-alcoholic wine or water Blessed are you Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to set before you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be with God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to set before you fruit of the vine and work of human hands 
it will become for us the cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever. Your Lord is the greatness, the power, the glory, the splendor, and the majesty. For everything in heaven and on earth is yours. All things come from you, and of your own do we give you. The Lord is here. His Spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. Amen. It is indeed right. It is our duty and our joy at all times and in all places to give you thanks and praise. Holy Father, Heavenly King, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, for he is your living word through him you have created all things from the beginning and formed us in your own image through him you have freed us from the slavery of sin giving him to be born of a woman and to die upon the cross you raised him from the dead and exalted him to your right hand of high through him you have sent upon us your holy and life-giving spirit and made us a, a people for your own possessions therefore we angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven we proclaim your great and glorious name forever praising you and singing holy 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 lord god of power and might heaven and earth are full of your glory Hosanna in the highest Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Accept our praises, Heavenly Father, through your Son, our salvation, Jesus Christ, and as we follow his example and obey his command, grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit these gifts of bread and wine may be to us his body and his blood who is in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take eat this is my body which is given for you do this in remembrance of me in the same way after supper he took the cup and gave you thanks he gave it to them saying drink this all of you this is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me therefore heavenly father we remember this offering of him, himself made once for all upon the cross we proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension we look for the coming of our kingdom and with this bread and this cup of a uh, cup we make the memorial of Christ your son our Lord amen Christ is risen Christ will come again amen 
accept through him our great high Lord this our sacrifice of thanks and praise and as we eat and drink these holy gifts in the presence of your divine majesty renew us by your spirit inspire us with your love and unite us in the body of your son Jesus Christ our Lord through him and with him and in him in the unity of the Holy Spirit with all who stand before you in the earth and heaven we worship you Father Almighty in songs of everlasting praise blessing and honor and glory and power be yours forever and ever Amen the Lord's Prayer our Father in heaven hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as in heaven give us today our daily bread forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for the kingdom the power and glory and are yours now and forever amen If you are many, break the bread and share with each other. Though we are many, we are one body because we all share in one bread. Son of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Son of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Amen. Giving of communion. Most merciful Lord, your love compels us to come in. Our hands were unclean. Our hearts were unprepared. We were not fit even to eat this crumb, the crumbs from under your table. But you, Lord, are the God of our salvation and share your bread with sinners. So cleanse and feed us with the precious body and blood of your Son that he may live in us and we in him and that we with the whole company of Christ may sit and eat in your kingdom Amen God's holy gifts for God's holy people Jesus Christ is holy Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father Amen You can eat the bread and drink the wine or water. If it is water you are drinking, you can uh, ask Jesus to turn as wine in your body. The peace of God, which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his son Jesus Christ our Lord and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. It is the end of the service. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Jesus, Amen. At exit, you should tell, I give over my past to the mercy of God, my presence for the love of God, and my future of God's protection. Amen.